What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys is some Severog. Severog is a pretty good hero right now. This is in the off lane, and I'm even playing him in a bad matchup. This is into a Terra. Terra does beat Severog. It's like kind of the one losing matchup Sev has at the moment. He's really strong and can play through most bad matchups. Um, but this game, I was able to get a lead, and once you get a lead on Sev, you really don't let it go. You're a scaling hero, so if you get ahead early, then you just get to be stronger than you were would be normally. And he's very, very good at just demolishing games if you're playing Sev from ahead. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe. But we'll jump right into the video. Rev passive seems like nothing, Burger. Uh, it seems like that because the passive on Rev's reload, if you read Rev's actual passive... Um, he, it's it's pretty weak if you read the passive on revenant's reload <laughs> it's really fucking strong right so he essentially has he has two parts to to his passive and one of the parts is pretty weak and one of them is pretty good that did not hit me there's no way that that dash hit me This is going to be not a fun lane because this is a harsh losing matchup for me. Make him get more shots before he reloads. I don't, that's just like you're, you're taking away the gimmick of the character to do that, in my opinion. I just missed a creep. That's bad. I think if you just give him more shots, like would he get better? Yes, right. He would he would be a better hero. I think you're getting rid of the gimmick, and I think that, like, having a character with a, like, have, characters having gimmicks is good, in my opinion. Like, that's fine. Like, it's not a bad thing for a character to have a gimmick. Just trying to keep my HP up here. Make it more difficult to run away and revel. You could, in again, like, there's many things you could do to buff him, right? Reworking the character is a lot different than just buffing him. That has zero mana. If I get level 4 first here, then I can fight him. Okay. He kind of gave me lane pressure back by just, like, mismanaging his resources, I guess. Okay, well, they cut my hair. I cut my hair a while ago, like two weeks ago, maybe I cut my hair. Oh, three weeks ago. I'm gonna grab green buff before I leave. I could just leave and get it when I come back, but I'm just gonna grab this and soak the wave XP. How's it going, Jerly? What up, dude? Have Revel just be Cassidy ult from Overwatch? No, no. Again, you guys, you're thinking a little too hard. You're cooking a little bit too much.
have him pull out a minigun when he ults. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that's that's a pretty good change, actually. Each bullet has a small special effect. That'd be something that'd be interesting, Flows. Yeah, shot number one, you know, does 5% magic damage or some shit, right? Like, something like that could actually be pretty neat. Um, over there. Sorry. I'll ping sorry. I I maybe could have followed. I don't think I follow her. Like that's a really wonky rotation from her. That I think hurts her more than more than helps her, but especially because she didn't get anything off of it. Okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> On my way mid. Attack gold buff. Okay, why did we rewind first? Still a kill, but I don't know why we rewind when Severog's coming into the lane. I'm gonna ping careful jungle, because I want I need to go to my lane. Don't know why we rewind that guy when Severog's coming to the lane, but uh How many creeps I missed what three creeps for that? That is crazy, bro. God rotations in this game are idiotic. Do need to get some stacks here. I do need to start getting getting some more stacks. I'm not stacking super well. 44 at uh, seven minutes isn't like terrible. It's not awesome. I think I'm gonna go Riz second. I could go Elafrost here and it'd be fine, but I think I'm gonna go Riz. Get me out of this class. I can't really help you there, Spuds. Is there a visible change to rev bullets on his fourth shot? Uh, visually, he does, like, his hands light up. But, um, he... He, uh... There's, a, there's sound effects to his shots. You can hear which shot he's on. Yeah, thanks for the green buff, idiot. Thanks for the green buff, bozo. Coming. Oh, Steel is cooked, isn't he? Okay. My Steel, so my yo, yeah, oh, that's my support. Okay. I'm like my Steel is level four. That would be my support. Okay. Argus Flash. Okay, I'll take Argus Flash one for one, and this guy's just dead if he keeps fighting me. Eh. Good peel from their Decker. I kind of just ate all of my fucking rates minions there, but I'll honestly take it just because uh, I'm seven. He's three and oh, so. She has full muty, doesn't she? That's fine. I'll let her push it. I don't mind. And back, grab some ability haste. It's one of the reasons, like, people, dude, people underestimate Fist of Riz on Sev. It's so good, dude. 20 haste just helps you stack so easily. Plus, obviously, the bonus damage to minions is nice, right? But, like, 20 haste is just, like, yeah. I get to stack everything. Yeah, 
I need to keep stacking. Not doing super well. If I can start getting some jungle camps, the stacks will be a little easier. I can start getting three camp, maybe enemy five camp. Maybe make the scar a quick hip fire. Uh, you could do something like that. I mean, if you if you change the bullets on Rev to be like, you know, first shot does X, second shot does X, you know, does something different, that kind of thing, then you could you could make the scar interact with that, right? Scar does something when you hit your first shot, it does something different when you hit your second shot, right? You could make it do something like that even. That could be pretty neat. Bro, that is a full last minion wave you're dropping. There's no, there's no way. I'm just gonna ult her. Okay. Well, I just pressed, I just pressed my ult too late, I guess. I went, I queued and it stopped me from ulting. She dropped a whole wave for that, so it's not super worth for her with how far ahead I am. But takes it away from me, I guess. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have queued. I, I should have just E ulted and just to secure the buff, I should not have pressed Q ever. Fine. I missed like, I once again missed like one minion for that base, right? She obviously got the green and I didn't, but. Oh, they get that. They have two Fang Tooths already? Damn, bro, what are we doing? When she got it too. That is annoying. I don't think she beats me for free here. I don't think she beats me for free. Even with her having mini and me not having ultimate, I, I'm quite ahead. Fire Blossom's kind of slamming her. Oh, my cannon. Yeah, we can push this. Oh. I don't have any mana. That's the only issue here is I don't have enough mana to kill this guy. Nice. Okay. Well, we had enough mana between the two of us to kill him, I guess. My stacks. All right. Well, that was pretty good. That was pretty nice. That was a good gank from my... I mean, they just came over. My, my wraith is huge. Bad rewind. Um, but they just walk over there and kill that guy, right? Like, it's pretty free. Actually, against Rev Argus, it is, in fact, a Razorback angle. And now Terra has no flash. I don't have my ult yet, but I can. I, I think I just win. She does have tier 1 anti-heal, but I think it's fine. I think I still win. cannon minion stacks yeah i don't think she can beat me when i have two items here as i said previously i don't think she can beat me when i have two items E when I just tank tower for funsies. 
Okay. Wraith is huge. He should just... They should be able to win that 4v4. Just hope Rev gets a buff this next patch. Rev is one of those characters that's kind of unfun to play against when he's so when he's super strong. It I, it wouldn't surprise me if they keep him a little bit weaker on purpose, because he is he is wildly frustrating to play against when he's strong. I don't know what's happening on the other side of the map, but my team is pissed. Just gonna ping my my feet to show them I'm coming. I'm coming. We win. I promise you we win this fight when I'm here. I think I won V5, bro. Even if they get the fang, we kill them all. Just kill everybody. Kill everybody, guys. Well, that dude's flash missing actually saves him. support i'll let her go you play brawl mode no brawl mode's boring <laughs> me when i tank tower for 20 seconds to kill the fucking decker what the fuck? Those minions just juke the shit out of that root. Minions just speed hack through my root. I guess I'm playing duo lane now. My duo went to solo, so I'm just gonna take the tower. Or play the bear character. Uh, the bear's not in this game, and I didn't, like, he wasn't in Paragon. But I played him when he was in Fault. I did not play him in Overprime. I played him in Fault. Nice job in mid. Okay, Wraith is huge. Hopefully he carries. I mean, I, I guess I'm 4-0. and oh. I didn't realize I was that big. I guess I'm, I'm pretty unkillable at this point as well. Need a little bit of magic defense. Um, What do I need? Maybe... Probably just Unbroken Will, I guess. Probably just Unbroken for me. What's Fault? Another Paragon remake? It was. Yeah, it's dead. Game's gone, but it was another Paragon remake. Trying to get to you, Grady. Kind of had to run away from me to keep living. Sixteen, sixteen. You like that Razorback damage, bro? That's sick. What? My root just gets caught, I guess. My root just gets caught on the on the edge of that wall. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, we can pull this. Oh no! He did that. This is what I get for not going Ella Frost, is I get to be out of mana for quite a bit of this game. Oh, this is still mini. Okay. Then they should give this to me. They actually fucking stole it. They actually stole it. That's a bummer. I think Ramp rocked my Countess and was able to just jump in and snag it. Sorry. Be able to Q ranked and play a brawl. Uh, that kind of thing works really well in a shooter where you can pop in, pop out. In a MOBA, it's a lot harder. A lot harder to have like pop in, pop out game modes. 
Well, 14 at 20 minutes is a big sev. Yeah, I'm quite large. My mid laner do be 14 and 0, by the way. So, kind of don't think I should really have to play this game, actually. I think I literally just press Razor back and walk at their, walk at their back line. And then I think they all die. I actually think I'm just pretty much unkillable right now. The rev is big. He has demo. He does do damage to me. It's just like I have razor back and I think I win. Okay. I mean, rev is rev is at gold buff. I don't know why we're not chasing that guy, but whatever. Okay. Don't really do a whole lot to me. Is this Primal Fang? Oh, I got you, Wraith. I got you, dog. I get body blocked, you fat bitch. They Argus ulted my Wraith. Uh, I'm pretty out, bro. Maybe I... Oh, no. She's ulted. I can't peel. She's ulted. I can't peel. Just leave Steel. You're not killing that guy. Unbroken will finished. I'm quite... I'm quite strong at the moment. I think I'm going to go Elifrost. I think I'm strong enough to where I can get away with this. I don't know, man. Should I just go st Stonewall? Like, Stonewall is definitely better here. She has no ult. She's just dead. Nice Murdoch snipe. Rev just comes out of his thing. They they all die to primal, guys. Walk in. Thank you. They're all dead to the buff, if nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Well done, fellas. My first death. It did go to Rev, which is really unfortunate, because that's a huge bounty for the Revenant to grab, but... Um, I don't know what I want, man. Like, Warden's Faith would be pretty good here. Because Terra is building a decent amount of damage. Warden's Faith would be pretty good. It probably realistically is Warden's Faith Stonewall last two. TBH. Um. I don't want some more damage. I, ju I just don't really need it. And I know that. I'll go Warden's Faith next. Why is my steel doing gold buff? I don't have Razor back for 20 seconds. It's just a little awkward. Also, two stacks off of 160. Oh, Murdoch's dead. Oh, he did not have to ult my my Murdoch to kill him. Unfortunate. Save me. Thank you. My guy. Gaps him up.
Uh, yeah, I am quite tanky, if you guys can't tell. I am, uh... <clears throat> I'm very, very big. Very large. And I do just kind of one-shot. I'm full tank, by the way, and I kind of just one-shot their Revenant. I literally, like, root Q ulted him with, like, one auto, and he's actually just dead, bro. It is so crazy. I think this is a really bad pull, but maybe we do enough damage. We are double carry. Their ramp is dead. Like, Countess is here first, but... Still, like, a... Well, I don't know. I think we just... I think we just commit. We should get this before ramp ever gets here. Three-man ult into pit? Get in there, fellas! Okay, I guess we all died. I thought they were okay in pit. I thought I could leave. Nice rock, bozo. Okay, these guys suck. Holy shit, that's embarrassing. Who's your Wraith? It's Iceman. He's a one trick. Or at least has been a Wraith one trick. I don't know if, if he is, like, at the moment. He was a Wraith one trick for a while. He just got big. I mean, Wraith from ahead is, is fucking terrifying. But I'm the only one with the Prime on our team. I kind of want to... Dude, I kind of want to go Golem's Gift last item. Thoughts? I think we ball. For the mana regen and some damage when I'm this big, I think it's worth it. You're an FF at 10 one trick? Yeah, that happens, man. I've met I've met plenty of those in my day. Okay, he's just gonna flash ult somebody. Nice, he's dead. Huge. That's fine. Still kill him. Oh. I'll flash for that all day because I just have him dead to rights if I flash in. I have prime anyway. Like, I, I just heal up, bro. Like, that pick is super worth it because that, like, the Argus is all of their wave clear, right? So that pick is always going to be worth for me. For my flash, so. And he just never, ever lives. I have prime, bro. We get this for free. Yeah, we get this for free. We actually might be able to end the game here. I have prime for a full minute. Nice. Good kill, boys. Our team's playing off of Countess ult really well. Like, that was Wraith combo and Murdoch snipe off of Countess ult, right? Like, that is... That's really nice. It's just, like, well played. We got a wave. I mean, that's game. Yeah, GG. GG, bro. I'm telling you guys, this shit's OP. Isn't Elifrost just better for Sev? Early game, it definitely is. At that point in the game, does Elifrost do a lot for me? It's like, what is it? 35? 35? Is this 35 defense? 30 armor? 15 haste versus 10 haste off Golem's gift. But like, I already have 30 haste. So the haste isn't, isn't like the five haste difference doesn't matter. Little less mana regen from Golem's gift. Obviously doesn't have HP, but more defense, more more uh, damage. I, I think I think Golem's Gift is a fine finisher there, to be honest. I think Golem's Gift would be totally fine to end that game on. 